Good morning, good morning, good morning. Carol Davis here with a spot of sunshine and hopefully a whole bunch of smiles. So be sure and spread the smiles and share the spot of sunshine around the world. Let's go viral. What if everybody just starts smiling and their attitudes change and instead of, you know, but you can't tell behind the mask, I know, but it shows in the eyes and it shows in our attitude and actually i can see smiles uh, without the mask i see it in people's eyes people light up and i just go through the store hi hello how are you and how, what if we all did that instead of uh, what's good about today you know what's good about today whatever you say is good because there's always something if you have trouble with that you let me know i'll help you make a gratitude list find something good and so this is my passion, sharing the sunshine and spreading the smiles, okay? So we're uh, going to read Zen Pig today. I've read, this is the sixth one I've read of Zen Pig. And um, then we'll start some more books, and then we'll be back to the Zen Pig series. One of our subscribers told me this morning that she loves Zen Pig. Oh, my God, my heart was soaring because... That's the deal. See, Zen Pig is a very, very simple, tells very, very simple children's stories with huge, profound messages, if you pay attention. Like this one today, here to do, it may start out a little slow for some of you, like, I'm a grown up, I don't need that crap. But you know what? If you just keep listening just a few pages, you'll start seeing it gets a little more. It's simple for children, but it's deep for adults. I think there's heavy messages. Zen Pig is amazing. Okay, you ready? I've wasted two minutes already. Spreading the smile. Zen Pig, here to do. Shiny badges on police, sharp scissors to cut hair, fire trucks in the parking lot. All jobs were presenting there. As Zen Pig helped, he felt a small tug at his waist. Smiling gently, he looked down to find a confused little face. Zen Pig, all these jobs look really great. It's a job fair, could you tell? But I feel like there's something missing. Does it all just come down to getting a job and earning a simple living? Curiosity peeked over hearing this. Around Zen Pig, everyone gathered. Zen Pig took a mindful breath, then joyfully gave his answer. Zen Pig is so wise. First, let me say, Zen Pig began, that I love how smart you are. You're asking questions and thinking bigger. There's no doubt you will go far. Hi, Shana Rose. These jobs are all important. That much is true, but the job is just the vehicle you pour yourself into. Mm -hmm. Choose your career wisely, but focus even more on who you are. Remember, you are light, meant to shine like a star. Learn to trust yourself and your purpose. You have a purpose? I do. You are here to look within and listen. Remember, any thought that sells yourself short is not true. Simply put, just fiction. Look at this picture. Look it in the mirror. See? Who do you see when you look in the mirror? Who do you see when you look into your eyes in the mirror and say, I love you? Avoid overthinking and worrying. They can easily become an addiction. Who knew? Never let a person or even a thought stop you on your mission. Take try. You are here to take action, make mistakes, and learn lessons. To get back up, you first must fall. No one great came from perfection. Mm. The good can only come from your own caring hands. Don't look to others to save yourself or the world. We all need you to take a stand. You are being so expansive, so unimaginably good. Your only real job is allowing your love for yourself and others to be understood. Namaste. That's the end of that book. You know, um, 
thought I had another one here to read straight away to you. Uh, you know, I was thinking about um, failure and that part, we just read about it. And I, I started thinking about when I learned to water ski. And, uh, you know, it took me forever to get up. And once I got up, I just, it was wonderful. It was like I'd always been standing up water skiing. If anybody ever water ski? So I was so proud of myself because this one time I got up and I went around and around and around and around and I didn't fall and I was hanging on for dear life and I was feeling so proud. And finally, they're from the shore. They're saying, stop, stop. And I, um, so I told my teacher, I didn't want to stop because I feel so good. Because I, isn't that good? I didn't fall down. And she said, no, not. Because if, you, if you're not falling, you're not learning. I never forgot that. You can't learn anything if you don't fall. So you get out there and ski and don't be afraid to fall. Try new things and fall and get back up. Isn't that amazing? How about you? Are you afraid of it? I didn't want to file. I always wanted to do everything perfect the first time out, just like Zen Pig said. But you have to be willing, you know. And then I, in, now I'm okay with that. That's when I was younger. And since then, I've learned things like Babe Ruth, who I think still has the uh, world record for uh, most home, home runs, but I'm not sure. But what I do know is when he had the record for the most home runs, he also had the record for most strikeouts. Yeah, imagine that. Walt Disney failed nine times and went bankrupt before he opened Disneyland. See, what I'm telling you is dream your dream, man. Dream it big and then do it. That's it for today. Spread the smiles. Love you. See you tomorrow.